I was in Middle East. I was in Dubai. And uh, that's where, uh, when I decided I need to apply for Canadian immigration. Um, and it was just a, let's just apply for it on the side kind of a thing. It wasn't burning. I was living a very luxurious life in, in Dubai. Dubai, many people know it's pretty close to Pakistan. So a lot of people have visited, known, uh, heard. It's full of luxury. I was enjoying all the luxuries that were available. Um, and I applied for the Canadian immigration. And when the time came for me to do the landing and move to Canada, it was around the same time um, or slightly before that I got promoted to become the CFO for PNG Pakistan and I was coming back to Pakistan. But I was mentally, or my let's, let's call it different. My family was mentally already in Canada. Like they already pictured their life in Canada and I pictured my life going back to Pakistan. Because as I said, for me, that was the highlight. When they offered me the role, I was like, screw Canada, screw immigration. I'm just going to get that assignment that which I always wanted and I'll just go get it. But my wife was of different opinion and uh, also thinking of the long term, I decided that I will move to uh, move them to Canada uh, or, or us to Canada. Now, I, I did start the assignment. I did it for one and a half years, uh, slightly less than a, one and a half years or so. Um, but how I went about deciding it, because it was a diff very difficult decision. I got a promotion. I got an assignment, which I started. And now my family wants to move to Canada and it is a good opportunity to look in the long term. So it was your decision. And I usually to leave. It wasn't, it wasn't like, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. So I, to leave. no, it wasn't like, no, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I, I decided to leave. Uh, the, the piece was, and this is how I decided. And I recommend people when they have to take big decisions, this is how they can go about taking decisions. You should know what you want from life or what you want to, how you want to see yourself in the next five years. But the challenge is that everyone wants almost everything. You want a car, you want a beautiful family, you want money, you want a passport, you want uh, the CFO role as well and everything. You just want everything. So if you start making a list, it will be almost similar. More or less, 80% of the things will be same. And I was like, okay, this is it. I, I won't be able to decide because I want the CFO role as well, but I want the Canadian immigration. So how about they give me the Canada CFO, role, which is not possible, but that would be ideal. Um, so it, it was difficult for them to move me to Canada. I did try that piece as well. It's just, they have a very small office in Canada. The satellite office, it's kind of a satellite office, like main functions are run from US. So the finance function is relatively smaller. Um, so it wasn't possible. So the other way I, I usually recommend people to decide is, what is that you don't want from life? So I want this from life. And how about you go, what is that you don't from, want from your life? Now, if you and I start making that list, it will be a very different list. So for instance, when I started making that list, I was like, okay, I don't want to be in Pakistan. Like I don't want to retire in Pakistan. And for various reasons, we, as in I don't want to dwell into, into that. For, people have their own preferences. But that was my thing, which is what I don't from my, want from my life. And I was like, okay, if I stay with PNG, I PNG has a region called India, Middle East, Africa, and Pakistan. I'm a region, and Pakistan was India, Middle East, Africa, Pakistan region um, in that region. So I knew that I would I would always be rotating in that region. It would be very rare if I move out of the region. I will be always within the region, and any place in the region, I will not be able to change my nationality. And if I don't change my na nationality after the end of my career, I will eventually have to come to Pakistan in one one form or the other. So flipping the decision-making process, it was very clear for me that I have to leave PNG. I was in love with the company, and the company was in love with me as well. It was one of the hardest decisions. Like I was up nights. It's not just about leaving a job, by the way. It's about leaving a high-status job that I loved, that I wanted, high-paying job as well. Um, and I just said no to everything, and I, was, I didn't have any job at hand. And I just immigrated to Canada after a year of that assignment.